So we, all of you here on this historic occasion, every four years, we meet in the council chambers. This will be the 27th time that the electors have met in this room. And the, the electors meet uh, today as they are across the country. And it, uh, it's always the result of an election, but over the years, the ballot has been a little different. In the 1800s, uh, it, when the state first printed the state ballot to be used at an election, the electors' names were on the ballot, but the voter would just vote in one square for the four electors. In 1900, that changed. The legislature decided to have the voters vote for each elector. And so the, we've had four electors now for well over 100 years. So you had four votes as a voter. But that didn't last very long. And then they went back to voting once for the four, in one place for the four electors. And that continued until 1972. And in 1972, the wording vote for the electors was removed from the ballot. And it just became voting for president and for vice president. The, uh, so the first thing I want to do is welcome our governor to come to these proceedings, His Excellency, the governor. <laughs> it's, you can be seated. So thank you, thank you, governor. Uh, 28 years ago in 1992, Governor Judd Gregg came walking into this chamber for the electoral meeting. And I just happened to see this on Friday because we have folders for each of the meetings of the electors. And in the clipping of that day, it mentioned that Governor Gregg welcomed the four electors. They happened to to be Democratic electors because and it had been the first time in 28 years that Democratic electors were going to be casting the New Hampshire votes. So he mentioned that uh, this was unusual and he would expect that in 28 years later that uh, I'll welcome the Democratic electors again. <laughs> and he was right about that, but he wasn't right that it was going to be the only time in 28 years because it changed a lot in most of the electoral meetings since 1992 uh, have, been, have been Democrats. So, Governor, uh, we're, we thank you for being here. Would you like to say a, a few remarks. Sure. You want to you okay. I'll be brief. Well, again, I, I just obviously it's a very historic day. It's obviously great to be here and, and great that we can be here, obviously, given the very trying times with having to wear masks and social distancing, but still to be able to do it here in the council chambers, I think is, is very important. It really is. It's not just out of tradition, but to show uh, folks uh, especially now more than ever, um, our system works. Especially, uh, 
Uh, it's managed a, a very, very on both sides of the aisle, uh, candidate or the other. It was counted appropriately here in New Hampshire, uh, putting forth today, uh, which is the most, really the most, to say the least. So, uh, here, given all the different process on a Secretary of State Gardner and others, uh, Deputy Secretary Scanlon uh, deserves a lot of credit for just making sure, and all the all the moderators, right, all the individuals at the town level that just did such a great job managing that process, uh, they're the real, uh, if I may, the heroes of today and made sure that this process that we're, we're here for to, to represent today could happen so well and, uh, and with such integrity and the folks watching at home know that, um, you know, while there are Trials and tribulations are across the country over the past week. It, it wasn't something uh, here in New Hampshire. Uh, our system works, and um, and again, it's not just a nice tradition. It, it's on the, the backs of 100 years of, of a lot of hard work, frankly. It takes a lot of hard work to make sure that this stuff goes off so well. So thank you so much, Mr. Secretary. It's, it's obviously great to be here, and uh, congratulations to the, to the electors. <clears throat> thank you, Governor. The voters came out, as we all know, in huge numbers, many, many more than we've ever had, uh, had, had before in another election. And it, uh, it, it we, we ended up with a little over 72% of the voting age population. You have to go back all the way to 19, uh, 64 to have a presidential election that had the kind of turnout that we had had this time. So I, I want to acknowledge the presence of two of our executive counselors, Mike Crines, counselor from District 1, and Andrew Walensky, counselor from District 2. Thank you. So much. Oh.